Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, rainy day, I almost didn't come out. You know, it's <laughs> when you wake up and it's dark and gloomy, it's tempting to stay put. But it's February, and if you wait for nice weather, you'll never do anything. So today, another new trail on Salt Spring Island, which I haven't done. The Girlfriend Trail takes you up to the peak of Mount Maxwell. And Mount Maxwell is the gem of Salt Spring Island. Well, I'm into the woods properly now, and it's starting to get a little steeper. Doable. Not as uh, heart attack level as last week's mountain hike across the bay. You can't see it where we were last week. And you can't really see where we're going this week. So far, three weeks, three hikes, misty, gray weather. I miss the sun, February, you know how it goes, has 400 days. Oh, now we got some steep. Okay, the pace just suddenly stopped. That's gonna be good. I think today we will omit the uh, ecological reserve. There's just no view. I want to show you guys the view. It's the uh, most photographed view by tourists coming to the island. It's from the peak of this mountain. Today we're just going to see clouds. Well, we'll be in the clouds. Oh! Yeah, they didn't warn me about this bit. <laughs> okay. Rain has stopped. No more rain. Or at least uh, a reloading period for the clouds. Doesn't matter. Once you're wet, you're wet. And if you're dressed for it, you're dressed for it. A little rocky section here. Oh, a little bit slippy. Like a challenge. Oh, all right. I'm gonna throw my stick away. Need two hands. Hey, you didn't see me tumble down the hill. <laughs> okay.
says there's nothing to see on a cloudy day. Following a bit of a ridge line. Just walking up into the clouds. More of the Gary Oak. That's uh, the main reason for the ecological reserve on the other side of the peak. It's preserving these. They're not doing great, but they're still here. I definitely had uh, trouble getting up this morning. I wasn't feeling well since the weekend. Today's Wednesday. Got a decent sleep, but it rained hard all night. I'm like, oh, please. One website said uh, sunny with showers. The other one just said 85% chance of rain. Sometimes around here you can find a happy medium. Not today. But here in the woods, I'm pretty dry. Uh, the canopy catches all of it. Oh. And you know, every time I've had doubts about going out and doing something, and I've pushed myself to go, there's been rewards. I remember one time, I wanted to go out for an afternoon of kayaking, and I forced myself to do it. I <laughs> loaded the car, loaded the boat, Got to the launch site, unloaded everything, stood there at the water's edge going, well, do I really want to? And I got in the kayak, 10 minutes across the channel to Wallace Island, a humpback whale breaches. And that just is a life lesson. Take the opportunity don't say no. That's what this uh, channel is kind of about. Staying inspired to get out in the fresh air, in nature, on your own terms, at your own pace, no matter what size, shape, or age you are. Even if it's just a walk around the block to the local coffee shop, or up a park trail up a mountain like today. Wonder what today's reward will be. I don't know. So far it's been a, a reward of a nice hike morning. Bumping into a couple of good friends, sharing trail tales and camera advice and scenery like this. Hello in there, elves, pixies, gnomes, hello, nope, nobody home, 
No one's ever home. What do they do out here? What are their jobs? Making mischief in the woods? Or does they leave me the hell alone? I'm not going to judge. They can do what they want. Unlike what I saw last week on Mount Sullivan, which was overcrowded, very unhealthy forest, a lot of new growth, and it just crowds. You know, they're all trying to reach for the sky. They're all tapping roots into limited resource. And most of those trees were dead. They're just standing dead in here. Well, it's been logged in the last century, but there's still some big guys like him. And it's open and airy. There is some dead wood, but for the most part, it's a happy little forest. Oh good, I am on three. I wasn't quite sure. Oh, uh, there was a split in the trail and there was a an orange flash. And I wasn't sure if I was at the bottom end of the Armand Way loop, which I don't necessarily want to do. Um, it's just a lot more of this. The aim was to nab the peak today. So I'm taking a more direct route. Here's a little shout out to the people that do trail maintenance on this island and everywhere else. Whether it's making room in a gap for the trail, building little bridges, clearing deadwood, rerouting so sensitive areas get a chance to restore. It's not easy. Sometimes I have to haul in more than a chainsaw, lumber, all sorts of stuff, so good on you guys. I salute you. Oh, boy. A little breezy now. I must be getting closer to the tippy top. In fact, I see a, a roundish rock up there, which I believe is the peak below the peak. top Well, not the top top, but the top. Got a little dodge to the, uh, to the uh, fence line viewpoint. But uh, essentially, we hiked from sea level up 1,800 feet and change from down there. up here in the nothing. Coffee time. Let's find a coffee spot in the drizzle trail this way.
Well guys, I made it to the top, went up to the fence line, the view was the same, it just had a chain link fence in it, so hopped back down to this ledge because it was sheltered from the wind, the rain has stopped for a minute, so it's coffee time. Cheers everybody. Uh, nothing to do now but go back down, so I'll end the video right here. Glad you came along, hope you enjoyed yourself, I had a good day. The rain notwithstanding, beautiful hike. All right, get out there, be safe, go at your own pace, and enjoy. Coffee time. It's raining.